Now I can go back between back and forth between the 0 and 180 positions. Um, this is a 0 pulse width and this is a 180 pulse width. And the consistency was achieved by doing servo.detach before doing an analog read on the analog feedback pin. So the way this works is the code attaches to the servo, then writes the destination value, then detaches from the servo and waits for a little bit before doing an analog read. Then it does an analog read and looks up in a pre-made table where that corresponds to what feedback, uh, the feedback corresponds to what angle, and then when it corresponds to the desired angle, like over here or over here, then it stops doing that. So I'll do that now. It should go all the way to 180, then back to zero, then back to 180, then back to zero. And I'm sure that can be smoothed out a bit by uh, d being a bit smarter about how to how long to wait, and then it wouldn't do the jiggly um, stuttering while moving. But yeah, it works, and the magic thing. The thing that I wasn't doing that uh, I am doing now and seems to have made a big difference is detaching from the servo before doing an analog read, detaching and waiting.